I cobbled together this post box when we first came here years ago. I think it's safe to say it's beyond repair. Either that or lots of people have been sending us soggy letters for some reason. Anyway, I thought I'd bend some galvanized sheet over and make a new box. But then it seemed to me that it could do with some legs and a head and a tail. But I couldn't figure out how to attach the neck and the head without it being too wobbly. So, <laughs> this is my solution. Two identical cutouts that I can attach along a line at the top and then open out underneath. I started with a crude sketch. It's supposed to be a horse, <laughs> but even, even I'm not sure. <laughs> but, um, but then, once it's converted to vectors, I can start tidying it up, just moving the little nodes around, changes the shape, and you can fiddle with it for as long as it takes. I know you can just import someone else's clip art, but where's the fun in that, huh? Just before I cut it out in paper, I elongated the body to compensate for the curvature. And then I ran it through my little laser cutter, which is great fun and cuts much more accurately and quickly than I ever could. But it only cuts paper or very thin card, and it only goes to A4, so really it's just for modelling purposes. It's a way of testing shapes quickly and cheaply. I just wish it was bigger. Anyway, then I stapled the two pieces together, and it seemed to be a good enough plan for the letterbox. And I added a bit more detail to the main, and then I enlarged the whole pattern so there would be enough room for all the lovely parcels we hope will arrive soon. The long, thin rectangle represents a full-size envelope. Then I took the, the drawing out as a file to the barn where the plasma cutter lives. And then I converted that file to a G-code, which is what the machine needs. And I cut out two identical pieces, and each one took about a minute to cut out. Well, it's amazing. <laughs> what a great machine. I was going to rivet the two pieces together and then bend them apart, but that way the rivets would have been in the way of the vise. So I just drilled the holes first yep. and then put it into the vise between two lengths of angle iron. That's the pigs you can hear in the background hoping for their tea. And then I used a bit of pipe to get the curve. I wish I had something a little bigger, but this doesn't have to be perfect. It's only for us and we're not very fussy people. The floor is a short plank of wood. The two pieces sprang open as it came out of the vise, but at least all the holes were there already and they were lined up for the pop rivets. And then I pop riveted it together and it was nearly done. Gave it a sheet metal bottom. But the door worked best out of a piece of ply. No post today, Tim. Yet. Maybe tomorrow. Think. Hello! It's so empty. 
so people can send us things again and they will arrive safely in here until we take them out. Like these gloves that Gracie sent us, thank you very much, nice and warm. And this lovely shirt. Yeah, it fits you Tim and all. It's Great. nice and warm, yeah. <laughs>